Hi, this is Nick with Nick's TV Repair. We're going to go over the 2013 Samsung LED TV models and some basic troubleshooting to quickly figure out which part of your TV has failed. We just turned on our TV and we're seeing five red flashes from the IR sensor at the bottom right of the screen. That's normal and that's what we want to see, indicating that we do have power to the TV. We are, however, not seeing any picture or glow from the screen. Okay, so the first thing we're doing is we're disconnecting the main board from the power supply and we're going to plug it in. If our power supply and backlight are functional, we're going to see that glow through the holes of the back of the TV, as you can see here on screen. This indicates that our LEDs are functional and our power supply is also mostly functional. Our next step is going to try and figure out if the main board is causing the backlight from not coming on. So we're going to disconnect the LVDS ribbon and we're going to go ahead and power it back up. Okay, we do get backlight. So let's go ahead and plug the main board back in after disconnecting the power and confirm that the main board is, when plugged in with the LVDS, is preventing the backlight from coming on. And it looks like it is. So what that means is either our TCON board or our panel, our screen, is causing the issue. So we're going to go ahead and disconnect the screen, which is going to confirm whether or not our TCON is now causing our backlight from coming on. And it looks like it is coming on which will mean our screen is the cause of our lack of backlight and current malfunction. To further troubleshoot, we're actually going to isolate the left versus the right half. So we're only connecting back in half of the screen and putting power back onto the TV. And it looks like right now we're still not getting any backlight. So we're going to go ahead and disconnect that side and connect the other side and power back up. Okay, we do get some glow. So we have isolated our problem. It looks like half of the screen has some sort of failure and is preventing the TV from turning on properly. So with half of the screen disconnected, the TV is turning on. We are getting picture with the half that is still connected.